guys welcome to my channel i'm april honey today we're going to be touring the island of amnesia by my good friend eden i can't wait to see it and to show it to you let's get started so right away at the entrance we have this beautiful pathway right here i love the little crossroads so cute oh wow so that just came out of nowhere above the tree right there did you guys see that it's like her eyes follow you wow we have a little puppy right over here and i love this little lace rug that was used in front of this house we're just gonna pretend it's not there it'll be fine y'all and i was told that all of the houses are decorated so right away at the entrance we get some interior decorating oh nice so we have this beautiful elegant foyer right here and a beautiful little desk area wow it's so elegant and antique looking and dark it's so pretty i love it it's almost gothic it reminds me a little bit of the adams family actually let's go to this room i never start in the back room but look at this it's a beautiful bedroom it looks so antique and i love the pictures on the walls those are really good custom codes and then we have this beautiful green wallpaper there's a piano and a typewriter it's very vintage wow it's so cool i like the black bouquet here that's really good moving in the room to the left it looks like we have a nice little restroom over here i love the privacy screen for the actual toilet and then we have this beautiful elegant sink here and the clawfoot tub which i always love in every room there's a beautiful vanity very antique and gorgeous i love the accent wall and the black botanical tiles on the wall those are so good So coming through over here, we have a cute little kitchen, again, carrying in with the antique theme. It's a little bit dark. I love the way this feels. It's so beautiful. You can have a cup of tea. Someone here is an avid reader and someone else needs to put away their groceries. And this is so cute. I love that. So in the upstairs room, we have a cute little playroom. I love the little cardboard thing. My kids love cardboard boxes. We have several box forts right now in my house because we just moved and I love that. Why is she here? Did she just appear from outside and ghost her way here? Oh my goodness. She is, um, she's a lot. We're, we're going to go. All right, you guys, you know how I feel about basements. We're going to do this, but um, I make no promises. Do you see this? This is the problem we have with basements. First, there's some kind of a ritual going on. I'm sure that creepy doll has something to do with it. There's a cabinet of who knows what you're going to do over there. And it looks like this just goes into the abyss. It doesn't even like have an ending point. This is everything that I fear about basements. Okay, the end. Okay, so this was the main house on the island. We're gonna move along over here. There seems to be a fortune teller going on. Oh, maybe it's the fortune teller's house. Well, why do you need something going on in the basement, ma'am? Oh, um, maybe you have something to do with it. Okay, so here on the beach, we have this beautiful little tea area, and this rug is stunning. I love the, um, the ruffle on it. That is absolutely gorgeous. The pattern is beautiful. So pretty. And we're going to move along over here. It looks like we have flowers over here, which is super pretty. I love that. And the storefront over here looks gorgeous with a bike leading over and everything. This is such a pretty view right here. I love this. This custom code right here was made by Eden on this island, so it would be available on the kiosk if you're interested in looking it up. 
She did such a great job with that. And then we have a bridge leading to resident services. Oh, I love that. Okay, and this is the area that we didn't see. This is resident services and how I got here. Right in front of resident services, there is like an incline that you can look over with the glowing moss pond. So this island is a little bit witchy. There's a little bit of a foggy sort of thing going on. We have almost like a Harry Potter vibe here going on with the books. Oh, look at this little ruffle and the rose. That's so pretty. And then we have a seating area with some books and some old records. I love that. That's awesome. And then another little seating area for the glowing moss pond right over here, which is also super cool. We have Kitty right over here. I was told that all of the houses on this island are decorated. So I will try to go into all of the ones that have villagers at home. We have a little fishing area right there, which is super cute. And then this leads us back to our entrance. So let's go um, this way and see what's going on over here. So over here we have our Nook's Cranny. Nook's Cranny is closed for business, but it's just a beautiful, natural looking Nook's Cranny, which I love. And this island was made with the challenge of no wheat fields. It is a no wheat field challenge island, which to me would be almost impossible. I don't know that I'm actually capable of doing an island without any wheat fields. That seems really hard. Oh, we have a little camping area on the beach for the peninsula. Let me get a view over here. This looks so cute. Oh, wow. Look at how cute that is. The little camping area on the peninsula with a television. That is adorable. So cute. Oh, wow. I love that. Okay, and then we're going to move it over here. We have this cute little beach. It's just very natural and beautiful. I love putting things like this on top of wheat, uh, on top of leaf piles as well. I speak English. I do. And it is mush season, so it looks like all of the mushies are grown in right now. Hello, Muffy. It looks like I will not be seeing your house tonight. But let's see who's home over here. This is a beautiful area. Roscoe's house. Look at how pretty it looks. Oh my goodness. Roscoe's house looks stunning. It was done in black and purple. It literally matches him perfectly. So cool. He has instruments here. So he is the musician of the area. Oh, I love that for him. That's so awesome. So cool. Okay, so let's move along over here. We have another villager's house right here, which is super cute. And another one over here. We have just a nice little neighborhood going on over here. This villager appears to be a little bit of a gardener, and that is perfect. I love all the purple flowers here. Purple is my favorite color, so of course. And here we have a lake. I love the view of this lake right here. It looks gorgeous. So pretty. Lakes are always a really good thing. Okay, we're going to go this way. This way is so good. I haven't seen any more jump scare dolls yet. So hopefully that means that was the end of them. So here we have a beautiful double bridge moment, which I absolutely love. They always look so good and so so nice to see always nice to see i love the hedge spooky fence like um alternating fencing right there that always looks good as well and then here we have a nice beautiful simple beach which is really pretty and a cute little area where some villagers were partying it up last night and they didn't clean up after themselves for shame Oh, and look at this. The dock looks so good. I love the pier here. It looks so cute. Oh my goodness. So adorable. And then the beach here is just a natural, simple beach, which I can always get behind. Most of my beaches are pretty simple and natural. Although, I don't know, I'm doing a little more on Honeyland, maybe because it's my forever island. So who knows? 
Um, but yeah, I love a good natural and simple beach. So moving down in front right here, we do have a cemetery here. Um, it looks like some villagers were resting in peace there. And then here we have a really nice, beautiful building. Look at how pretty this is. This is so good. I love that. I love the window designs on there. This is such a great building. Oh my goodness, so pretty. The gothic mirror up top is everything. That is beautiful. Wow. Just looking at the construction of this is really cool. It's very gothic and really, really neat. Wow. Okay, so moving right along, we're going to come up this way. And here we have our Able Sisters. They have a cute little water fountain right here. I love this tile that I'm standing on. I don't know what that is or where it came from, but it is gorgeous. And here we have a cute little pond right next to the Able Sisters. <gasps> Look at my chair. So this is where I would be where the food is. She knows me. She knows me well. So I would be here probably waiting for pie and drinks. So yeah, that sounds about right. Pie and fizzy drinks sounds exactly like what I'd be having. And we have this beautiful area right over here. Oh, look how pretty it is. I love a good duck pond. So she used the weeds instead of the wheat fields because the autumn weeds are the best weeds. And I can get behind that. However, no wheat fields just sounds hard. It sounds really hard to me. <laughs> we have another beautiful little area right here for people who prefer their coffee instead of tea. I am both a coffee and a tea drinker, so I have no shame I and zero preferences. There's a little mini apiary right here, and I always love when there's a fence enclosing a tree. That's a very British thing I found. Like I, I find that in a lot of my Brit UK friends' islands, they do put fences around trees. And I do believe that's a thing in the UK and like English gardens and stuff. I could be wrong, I don't know, but in pictures that I've seen, which is all I've seen of gardens in the UK, um, that would be something that I've seen. Now, let's go into this villager house. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at Nan here. Oh my gosh. She's obviously into astrology. I love her bedding. That's so cute. And she has uh, these beautiful paintings as well. I love those. Those are gorgeous. And her wallpaper is stunning. Look at her house. So pretty. And then we have another villager house right here. Let's go inside. Okay, so this is Kid's house. Kid's house is a little lighter than the rest of them, a little more autumnal and less witchy, which is really nice. I love the mushroom theme and I love the mushroom uh, wall paintings. Those are super good. That little chicken tapestry, we actually had one of those in my house growing up. My grandmother was all into those rooster um, things. I think we even had sofas, like almost like this fancy sofa with roosters on them. It was, it was wild, but she loved those things. And we had those plastic covers on them probably for half of my life uh, that I remember. It was like delightfully tacky 70s furniture, which I love actually now. And we have another double bridge moment right here. Look at how good this is, uh, so cute. And then we have this creepy villager right here. I don't know who that is, it's fine. Okay, so to the left of the Able Sisters, there's this beautiful river moment that looks so good. I love the way this looks right here. So beautiful and just dark and eerie and just real pretty. It fits along with this island really well. And then over here, we have a nice little waterfall situation. Beautiful. So moving along back this way, we have a beautiful land bridge that also overlooks this lake over here. And I love the way the water shimmers at night. It just looks so pretty. 
And this is such a great view right here. I love this. We can't go any further here. So I'm going to go ahead and head back because there is a ladder right here. So there's an actual official view. There is a way to actually see this officially. Look how pretty that is. That is amazing. I love the way this looks. Oh, wow. Look at how pretty. Wow. Okay. I love that. I need a lake view as well. Lake views are the best, right? I do a lot of meadows and no lakes, and I, I really love lake views. They're pretty awesome. I'm going to go lefter and see what's over there yonder. So behind Nick's Cranny, there is another bridge. And it looks like this is also leading to the lake over there, which is really pretty. And then over here, we have our friend Eden. She's welcoming us to the island. Look how cute she looks. Oh my goodness. She looks like she's on Harry Potter. And down there, we have the campsite. I love that. That is so cozy looking. And then we have some tents going on. I love the 70s style crochet blanket underneath the tent over there and the folding chairs it just gives like camping when i was a kid vibes all of my 80s kid friends would understand and we have another crochet just seating area in the back i love the lace little doily that's coming off of that rug so pretty with the nuptial bell beautiful okay so over here we have this beautiful path it looks like a little garden path and let's see where this leads us. It, it has an overlook of the back water, which is really pretty. Oh, and we have the back beach here. It led to the secret beach. I love that. That is beautiful. So we're going to come forward on this bridge right here. And I do not know if we saw these villager houses yet. I don't think so. This is a cute little sewing area on this. And we have mom's plushie right here, which is the cutest plushie in the game. And let's go inside. This is Pecan's house and, oh God, uh, let me change the camera view. Um, so down here, we have this beautiful little area right here. She was probably going to do the custom, the DIY of the day, because usually that's why they have the work table out. But she has a beautiful little sewing area over there, some plushies. She's obviously a plushy doll maker of some sort. So I'm gonna get out of her house. I'm not exactly sure if Eden is aware, but her island has been invaded by creepy McCreeperson dollies. Those dolls really creep me out. Okay, moving right along to the next house. It looks like we have another villager house right over here. Oh, it's Sylvana's house and she's so beautiful and the house is so beautiful. Look how pretty it is without a creeper in sight. I love this house. It's gorgeous. The bed, the bedding is beautiful. And I love the elegant table and there's a little phone right here, a little painting corner because of course our queen is so talented. It's so pretty in here. I love all of the browns, all of the contrasting browns. It looks so good. Look at her and she's so cute. Those were such nice houses and here is another villager's house that I can't actually go into, but it looks really nice on the outside. I love the way it was decorated. I love these bears sitting over here, and that is the campsite that we did already see. I do believe we've seen all of this island, haven't we? Oh goodness. No, we haven't. Look at this cute little nook right here behind the nooks. It's so cute. Okay, my friends, that is it for Amnesia by my good friend Eden. If you would like your island toured on this channel, please feel free to submit it over in Discord or fill out the island tour form that comes out on my community tab. And I'd be happy to tour your island. 
I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you guys so much. I know there's so many places you can be on the internet and you choose to spend a little of your time here with me. And I appreciate you so much for that. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful day or night and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Am I supposed to go up? I don't know. Oh, well, there's a bend, so maybe. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Maybe I wasn't supposed to be up here.